My name is Will Hayden. This is Red Jacket. We build weapons, all kinds of weapons. That's our job. Your job is to enjoy the show. Don't try this at home. This Civil War cannon hasn't been fired in 145 years. Fire! You want a silencer for a shotgun? Do y'all even make that? I'm out of ideas, frankly. Daddy! What is this? Let's shoot the son of a <laughs> I've never had a day like this, just orgasmic for me. The earth can shake, the sky come down, the mountains all fall to the ground, but I will fear none of these things. Oh, shelter me, Lord, on the way. Red Jacket's one of the finest shops in the country, and it's, it's the people that make it so. My favorite thing about Red Jacket is the family relationship that we have. Chris screwed up this guy. <laughs> you didn't screw it up, dude. I just don't know how you jammed it together. I don't know how I did it either, man. I do whatever I can to absorb as much information as possible. Bless you. Go forth and sin no more. I know I'm not ready yet, but one day, I will show Will that I'll be ready to run this company. Real sight that base. God bless me. Yeah, all right. Hi, how you doing? Hey, I'm looking for a suppressor. Suppressor? Yes. OK, well, I do have a couple models over here I can show you. So what were you looking for? For a shotgun? Shotgun suppressor. Do y'all even make that? Give me just a minute, OK? Sure. People don't make suppressed shotguns mostly because they can't. And you want a suppressor for a shotgun. You saw that movie, didn't you? Yes. No country for old men. When you're getting 50 calls a month on a product that doesn't even exist, it gets you thinking about it. So I've been kicking the idea of a suppressed shotgun around for a while now. Can Thanks you make you. that? Damn, there's got to be a way. If I can get it done, you know you're going to be looking at about 2,500, right? With the gun? Yeah, with the gun. That's doable. All yeah. right. Give me a few Glad days to hack and whack, and I'll give you a call back. The trick with this is to use it without needing hearing protection. If I can bring the suppressed shotgun to market, it puts us in headlines across the industry, and it's going to increase our sales across the board. Hey guys, Chris? Yeah. Okay, total guy we could suppress an S12. I've seen guys try this. I'm not just gonna go where everybody else has gone before and have yet one more semi-suppressed shotgun that doesn't really do anything for you. Why do you need a quiet shotgun? So you don't go deaf shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> The guy just wants it, man, in all honesty. He saw it in a movie and just felt like he had to have it. Suppressing a gun is to contain and slow down the gases that are propelling the bullet. The real problem with suppressing a shotgun is you have a huge volume of gas that's generated by the shotgun shell, which so far no one's been able to overcome. We can't just cut it off and put a regular suppressor on it. The shot expanding when it comes out of the barrel, you know, it will just shatter it. What we're going to do is we're going to utilize the barrel as part of the suppressor, but i got to do a little research. I've got Chris breaking down the shotgun. I have Vince working on modifying the barrel. Got Joe and also Charlie taking high-speed shots of a 12-gauge firing. Ready? Yeah. Go. Can you do a frame-by-frame frame thing? Yeah. What I need to see was how much distance do I have from the end of the muzzle to when the shot starts opening up. Stop. There it is right there. All right, that's two inches. What? It let me know immediately. 
the length that I would be able to extend the suppressor to. I think that's the one thing that everybody who's ever tried this suppress shotgun thing has completely missed. Now it's just a matter of doing it. My brother. Here. Oh, hell, that's Glenn. Do not buy anything from that man, please. Don't worry about what I do. <sighs> hey, man. What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm good. Damn. Bro, where did you get that? See what you think. This ain't. Oh, it can be. That's original, huh? Sure is. Yeah. Holy <laughs> Man, this is real. They only made 12 of them. The South was so low on supplies, plantations, and churches set their bells to New Orleans, and they melted the bells down to cast the gun. Well, it's been a long time since this thing's had iron down its tube. I'm sure it hadn't been fired live since 65. 1965? 1865. How much? About a quarter of a million. Holy shit. Well, I would never spend that. I applaud your audacity. We want to shoot it. That's the reason we came over here. Yep. Man, I don't know. There's absolutely no way in hell I'm going to be firing a quarter million dollar piece of history without going over it muzzle to breech. I'll make you a deal. We can get it x-rayed. Sounds good. Sure. As soon as we have a better than 50-50 idea, we'll survive the experience. And I'll pull the lanyard on the first round. OK. If I live, you buy me lunch, and you can shoot the second <laughs> one. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, you got it. Uh, this is what we're looking at so far for the uh, suppressed shotgun. Vince did an excellent job modifying the barrel. Next thing will be extending the suppressor to contain the muzzle blast. Once we've completed the mechanical portion, we send it all to paint, then we're ready to assemble it. Sorry, partner. You got to work here to see this part. Hey, Chris. Vince. What's up? Y'all got to see this shit. <laughs> what, what are we doing with this? It's a Confederate church bell. Dude! Whoa! <laughs> Whose is this? Where did this come from? Yeah, this is genuine Confederate history right yeah. here. This is ridiculous. Dude, he spent a quarter million dollars on this, too. Are you serious? That's awesome. Does it operate? He wants to shoot the thing. I told him I wanted to get some x-rays run on it before we took it out in the field and make sure that some of these little dents don't go in too deep. And when we fire it, we're going to be about, oh, two feet from it. <laughs> all right, I want you playing Woody Woodpecker, OK? Yes. Soundness of wood. Let's lead, go lead, over lead. all these fittings. How many 145-year-old quarter-million-dollar cannon do you have? How many suppressed shotguns do you have? Keeping him less distracted is a lot harder than it sounds. It's a $2,500 item. It's not something that we just I, I gaff off. Shotgun. I'm not gaffing off nothing. Promise? I promise. This suppressed shotgun is going to be bread and butter for us. It can bring in so much. I got it. Unreal. All right, we've got all the parts back from paint. Now we're getting it assembled, and it'll be time to test this. Careful, dude. Slow speed. If I'm wrong and it doesn't achieve a noticeable gain, then we cut the thing off and hope that Stephanie just never noticed the whole wasted week. Y'all grab some ears. Let's find out. Oh, cool. Lord, I hope this works. All right, Chris, you're going to get to play sound man, all right? Cool. 
Yeah, bro, you better wear these. Yes, sir. <sighs> All right, man, you got this thing ready? Good to go. All right, 140 decibels is hearing safe. If we can get to 150 decibels, then I think we're good to go. And if not? <sighs> if not, then I got to listen to Stephanie tell me why nobody's ever done this before. All right, guys, get ready. Vince, you locked on? Good to go. All right, guys, I am firing. What'd we do? 165, man. Had a weird side tone, too, huh? Yeah. 165 ain't gonna do. Not by, not by a long shot. Our initial test firing didn't work. It was still a bit loud, and it had a strange resonance. All right, what you want to do? Oh, God, I don't know. Y'all cleaned up in here. Let me go. Let me think about it. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to go with it from here. We're getting a little burnt out messing with this suppressed shotgun. I think we ought to back off, take a little time. We're going to go blow off a little steam and play with the cannon. You guys are here to x-ray the tube, make sure this thing ain't gonna blow up on us. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, due to the rarity and value of this piece, we're gonna go a little overboard with our safety procedures, make sure we don't have any out of the ordinary air pockets within the mold, make sure this thing hasn't got a crack somewhere underneath it where we can't visibly see it. Is she pregnant? Wow. <laughs> yeah, no problem. This basically here, the top side is the surface, and this is the ID side, the subsurface. And as you can see, we can already see in some voids in there. It's actually a pretty big void, that red spot. I don't see nothing all the way through, but it definitely got a lot of sand pockets and voids inside the casting. Sand pockets, voids, and cavities. None of that really breeds confidence. Well, let's get to the part where we find out if uh, this thing's gonna turn into a bomb when we light it off. Yeah. What would y'all think about shooting this? I'll stand back here. <laughs> I think we only got one real problem, but it may be a deal breaker. Do we got enough balls? <laughs> I think so. Well, then let's shoot the son of a I love it. Get your ass back to work, guys. Thank y'all so right, much. Thank y'all. They did this ultrasound on the tube. There's a couple of air pockets that I frankly wish weren't there, but we're gonna shoot the weapon and we're gonna have a damn good time doing it. I'd like to see how this thing actually works. Daddy? Yeah, bud? Come here. What is this? That's for that ultrasonic on that cannon. Two grand for an x-ray of a cannon? Stephanie serves as my senate. I go to her for advice and consent. Frequently, forgiveness is easier to obtain than permission, and I tend to prey upon her goodwill and affection for me. If I can bring a suppressed shotgun to market, it's gonna put us into an even higher level of builders. The company, Red Jacket, started so that it would give an indoor job for my daughter. I will see this whole go up in flames and rupture before I ever see her lose that shine in her eye when she looks at me. That! I got it. Check it out. I want at least three, hopefully four chambers. We were all looking at this as a single expansion chamber design, and that just didn't work. The key to slowing down the gas is going to be turning it from a single expansion chamber into four integrated expansion chambers. Let's do that. OK. <laughs> Throw away that barrel. Start afresh. Hey, Steph, I'm throwing away a Sega Shut barrel. Shut up. Do it quietly. We've got to rebarrel the shotgun. We've got today to get this done, so it's all hands on deck. Tomorrow, we'll assemble it with the new partitions, and then we'll find out if we have a suppressed shotgun or just something that looks like a suppressed shotgun. That's it. Let's go. We integrated a suppressor into the shotgun barrel. 
then used a series of four chambers. Vance, you got that laptop set up? Yeah, it's in the range, ready to go. It's gonna work this time? I'll let the gun answer it. How would I? Hell would I? It's better work. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I'm out of ideas, frankly. And you're right. And I do not want to be the one that tells that little girl that we just threw away a week. First time we shot the suppressed shotgun, we were around 165 decibels. If we can get this down to 150 decibels, we've got it. We good to go. All right, let's find out if we are. <laughs> Much better. Good to go, man. Yeah, that was nice. Holy crap. We got it down to 144. Reset. No ears. Oh, yeah. One more. <laughs> nice. OK, I'd call that quiet. <laughs> Good to go, man. Gentlemen, y'all got a range and a shotgun to clean? Yes, sir. I got a whole new section of the market to dominate. <laughs> And I got a cannon to shoot. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we did that. I'll be right here with you. Uh, cool. Charles. Hey. <laughs> we got Hi. something. Sweet. You just reach across the top, slap it, and yeah, nice. like that. <laughs> uh, let's go see what it sounds like. Let's get safety up here. Why don't you try us a couple? There you go, straight down for live. Holy crap! Dude, that's sweet. I told you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought you'd be able to do that without blowing your eardrums out, huh? No way, and it closed too. Yeah. Indoors, that's awesome. Deer will never hear them coming. Only Maybe problem we're going to have better. is getting people convinced that it's real, that aren't actually in the range that's shooting. Not be a <laughs> Will, that's amazing, man. I didn't think I could ever do pull that off, make one right out of a movie. You know, between me and you, I had my moments with it myself. I mean, it's quiet, quiet, quiet. I mean, like straight out of Hollywood. So, what kind of paperwork and how much do I owe you on this beast? 25 and whatever the sales tax, we'll get you wrote up on that. And then we got about an hour's worth of paperwork. You ready? Well, yeah, let's do it. Hey, guess what? Hey, Beth. You guess what? I sold uh, Charles that uh, suppressed shotgun. <laughs> oh, how ironic. He must have talked to a couple of his friends or something. I just got off the phone with a guy who bought three of those suppressed shotguns. That's fine <laughs> with me. <laughs> with yours and mine, that puts me at, what, 10 grand for a Thursday? That sounds great to me. That ain't bad, and the week ain't even over. You know I what? Know. The week is over. I'm taking tomorrow. I'm gonna go. <gasps> I'm gonna go shoot that cannon. Thanks for financing a day off. Yeah, butthead. I guess you deserve it. <laughs> what we are going to do today has not been done in 145 years. Watch your fingers, and we're down. How old is this gun again? The gun was made in '62. When you think about this, Chris, the last time anyone saw a live round coming out of that gun, Lincoln was the president, and men died on the impact. We have in our hands a piece of history that should probably be in the Smithsonian Institute. And there's only so many chances you want to take with an artifact like that. We're going to use those two bales of hay to simulate enemy artillery positions. Load! If it does fail, it's a catastrophic failure. Which does that way? Don't worry about what I do. Load the gun. What that means is it transforms from a 1,700-pound cannon into 1,700 pounds of shrapnel. You're standing four foot from it. You don't walk away from that. Ready. Hold. Hold up, Mike. Chris. Yes, sir. You want this one? Really? <laughs> Boy, get over here on that lane. Yes, sir. Chris works his ass off. To be able to bring him out with us to be part of what we're doing, that's how I say thank you. All right, brother, let's unleash hell. Yes, sir. All right, back off. All right, ready! Fire! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Outstanding. He hit that inside bail, man. Oh. Exactly what we were aiming at. Yes, indeed. I don't know if you've ever done that, man, but I need to change the pants, man. I've never had a day like this. Just orgasmic for me. How you feeling, kid? You look like you're about to fall off. I know my mohawk is standing up a couple feet taller. Yeah, that's what we call a six-pack bonus. It keeps me from having to give him a raise. <laughs> this is why I do this. This is why I work for Will and why I've given my life to Red Jacket. I am blown away by his capabilities. What's next? See that old shed? Yep. Ready! <laughs> what you have in the shack, Will? <laughs> oh I've been doing pyro technician work for years, so I came up last night and we rigged the hell out of that shed. This is what we do, gentlemen. We blow up!